Dr. Uh, Wade El Malki to present his talk about uh, laparoscopic gastric uh, bypass for the treatment of diabetes mellitus, uh, comparison between gastric Ron Y and uh, mini gastric bypass. Please, Dr. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Chairman, uh, dear colleagues, my appreciated mentors, Prof. Dahayan, Prof. Naimi, Dr. Bamahriz. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here presenting in the Saudi Laparoscopic Society Congress. I would like to thank the organizing committee, especially Prof. Dahayan, for his outstanding uh, work uh, in this society. Uh, I would like today to share you one of the, uh, our papers with Prof. Wajili of Taiwan, uh, in which we compare the diabetic remission uh, when those patients underwent Rho and Y or mini gastric bypass. As an introduction uh, to this uh, paper, as you know, there is a very close relationship between obesity and type 2 diabetes. And many studies have indicated that using bariatric surgery as a metabolic surgery, uh, not even just to, for weight reduction, for metabolic surgery may, prof may provide a remission or improvement in type 2 diabetes control. The mini bypass, originally named mini gastric bypass or single anastomosis gastric bypass, whatever the name you are going to use, is recently developed uh, uh, gastric bypass procedure and was regarded as an alternative procedure to run one. Uh, recently means we are talking now about more than 15 years experience. Last month, Prof. Wajili uh, published his 15-year uh, experience for this uh, procedure. Uh, the, the data we have now showing that this is uh, less operation risk and better weight loss and metabolic effect. Our aim in, that, in this paper was to compare the long-term efficacy of type 2 remission uh, between Rho and Y and mini gastric bypass. And the other thing is to study the usefulness of the scoring system uh, created uh, by the uh, Diabetic uh, Center in, in uh, National Taiwan University. Uh, the, the study was uh, launched in uh, Minjing General Hospital, uh, National Taiwan University, between 2000 and 2015, around more than, 400 pa and more than 900 patient, uh, patients underwent uh, metabolic surgery. We selected around uh, 400 uh, for inclusion criteria in this study. It was a retrospective analysis. And the patient, uh, we choose patients with suboptimal control uh, type 2 diabetes. That means hemoglobin A1C more than 7. We studied the outcome of around 406 patients underwent Rho and Y and many gastric bypass. Uh, around 60% um, of them underwent many gastric bypass. And uh, we exclude those patients with end organ damage or pregnant woman, uh, previous GI surgery, or those with C-peptide below 0.9 nanogram per ml. Uh, in this study, the diabetic remission was defined as hemoglobin A1C less than 6% uh, without anti-diabetic medication for one year, and prolonged remission uh, uh, as diabetic remission more than five years. Uh, the surgical technique, uh, it was laparoscopy in both procedures, five ports, uh, laparoscopic uh, Procedures, uh, supine position, and draw and Y, the uh, element, the pillar limb was around 50, uh, 80 centimeter, and the uh, elementary limb around 150. Uh, and in the um, uh, single anosmosis gastric bypass, we created a long tube uh, in the lesser sag, on the lesser curve uh, side, and we anastomosis with to, after 200 centimeter bypass from the uh, DG. We create the gastrogenostomy uh, with stapler, uh, with linear stapler, uh, and it was around 1.2 centimeter. The comparison of Rho and Y versus single anastomosis gastric bypass was uh, stratified by PMI and patient scoring system, the ABC, the ABC D score system. Simply, we have four uh, variables, age, PMI, C-peptide, and duration of diabetes. Each of them will uh, weight up to three points. The minimum score you get it is zero, and the maximum is 10. So you rank the patient from zero to 10 according to the age and PMI and C-peptide and duration of the diabetes. 
in the basic characteristics of two groups, uh, you can see that uh, single anastomosis gastric bypass group, they were significantly younger in age and uh, higher in their PMI. Uh, if you are comparing the uh, preoperative clinical data, the main operative time was significantly shorter in the single anastomosis gastric bypass. Uh, but in the other hand, um, uh, minor complications or major complications almost the same. Fortunately, there was no mortality. Uh, this table showed the weight loss and comorbidity outcome at one year. Uh, you can uh, see that the weight loss and PMI improved uh, significantly in, single, uh, in the uh, single anosmosis gastric bypass group, uh, and hemoglobin A1C dropped significantly in the first year. Actually, the remission, diabetic remission in the first year was around 72% in both uh, rho and y and uh, mini bypass. Unfortunately, we followed, uh, we have only a small number uh, following at five years, around 122 patients. And from those, uh, still the uh, uh, single and small gastric bypass showed bitter weight loss. And at five years, the hemoglobin, the diabetic remission was around 62% all over. Uh, with significant, I cannot say significant, but it's a borderline significant of uh, singular small gastric bypass. If you compare uh, diabetic uh, type two uh, uh, type two diabetes remission uh, at, with different PMIs, you can see in high PMI more than 50, the remission will be at 100 percent. But if you go down to low PMI, less than 30, you can see those patients under mini gastric bypass they have significant improvement in their remission. And this is the same also with ABCD score. Those with high ABCD score, they will have bitter uh, remission. And if you go for low uh, ABCD score, that means you have to be more selective for your uh, surgery. So although recent trend of bariatric surgery is moving from raw and white to sleeve, we believe that gastric bypass remained the first choice for metabolic surgery for type 2 diabetes uh, treatment. In this study, many gastric bypass were found to achieve bitter weight loss, the rho and y, and the type 2 remission was no different in high PMI, as we have mentioned. However, remission rate is significantly different between uh, many bypass and rho and y in overweight patients, implicates that this group of, of, of diabetic patients is different from obese patients, or from morbid obese patients, I can say. The, the difference between single anastomosis and, and, and raw and Y mainly is, is the difference in the BB limb, uh, because all of them, they have uh, uh, bypassing the duodenum, and all of them, have, they have restrictive gastric pouch. But again, the BB limb is different from um, from rho and y and single anastomosis gastric bypass. Single anastomosis, they have longer PPLM. In, in an randomized trial, uh, had shown a bitter weight loss and glycemic control comparing 50 uh, centimeter PPLM to 150. So the longer uh, is better. And in one study, um, uh, suggested that longer PPLM is important for uh, effect of uh, revision surgery. Although single anastomosis gastric has a better diabetic control than rho and y, unfortunately, it carries a higher long-term nutritional deficiency, which require a required lifelong supplement, uh, especially uh, anemia. Uh, but the type 2 uh, remission rate at one year uh, after metabolic surgery is starting from 100% uh, percent in patient with BMI over, over 50, to 26% in patients with BMI less than uh, 30. And let's remember that those patients are candidates for bariatric surgery if they have PMI more than 27.5. Uh, therefore, only very selected low PMI type 2 patients should be considered candidates for metabolic surgery. The other uh, important point here is the ABCD score. Uh, it was especially designed for predicting the success of metabolic surgery and have been validated in many studies. 
in low PMI groups, young patients with short duration diabetes and good beta cell preserve uh, are associated with better ABCD score and may be recommended for metabolic surgery. The most important finding of this study is to, is to demonstrate that many gastric bypass has a better glycemic control than raw wine in long term, especially with those with low PMI. Uh, as a conclusion of my uh, uh, presentation, although both raw and wine and many bypass are effective metabolic surgery, we think that um, single and somos gastric bypass carries a higher power on uh, diabetes remission than raw and wine. And the other point is that the ABCD score system is useful in uh, uh, type 2 diabetes patient classification and selection for different procedures. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Do you have any questions? Okay, thank you, doctor. Yes. Doctor Mufazza. Great presentation. I just wanted to say we were, we were doing a similar study comparing uh, prospectively measuring all these patients with the single anastomosis gastric bypass versus the RUMAMI. Correct. What are the biliopancreatic limb lengths are you taking? In? What is the BP limb length in a Rowan essay, y. In, a, in, in a single anastomosis versus a RUMAMI? Uh, 200 uh, centimeter in the... Uh, in the single anastomosis. Single anastomosis. And, and the 80, 80 in Rowan Y. 80 okay. with elementary limb 150. Okay. Um, you know, you spoke about the nutritional complications. Yep. You didn't cover it. Uh, much in detail. Yep, uh, have right. you done endoscopies on any of these patients? Yeah. Uh, what is your rate of bile reflux? 4%. 4%? Yeah. Okay. Because what we've done is we've scoped all these patients. Uh, asymptomatic patients? Uh, all symptomatic, irrespective of symptomatic or asymptomatic. Okay. You yeah? screen them? We are screening all, all our patients post RYGB, post this thing. Okay. And I just presented and Mr. Rutledge almost asked me to stop doing SA single anastomosis gastric bypass. Oh. Because <laughs> I think uh, he didn't realize uh, the amount of bile that is there. So we've got almost a 48% bile in stomach pouch. And is this pathology? Is it the pathology to find no, the bile I'm in the stomach? No, I'm just saying, I'm not saying it's pathological. Okay, I see. I'm saying we're finding bile okay, yeah, in the fine. stomach okay, pouch. Good. And in 13%, we found bile in the esophagus. Now, what concerns me is the bile in the esophagus, yeah, absolutely. not the bile in the stomach pouch. Because uh, we're doing uh, single anastomosis gastric bypass, and I completely agree, our results are similar, that the weight loss is better, diabetes remission is better, Good. but uh, nutritional complications, we have to double the dose of nutritional and protein supplementation as compared to a standard and gastric bypass. And supplement also. Yeah, so is it worth the price especially in a region like this where people are not going to take multivitamin support. Why not? You think in, in a region, let's say in India or in Saudi Arabia. In the kingdom, yeah. Did you think people would continuously lifelong take yep. protein and yep. micro? You explain, I think, I think it should be clear to every single patient in your clinic that if you select bypass procedures, regardless what do you call it, you will continue for life in, on supplement. And if they agree on this, this is their choice. Uh, but on the other hand, you shouldn't keep this information, keep this information hidden, and then uh, you will blame the patient that he didn't follow up. So from the beginning, if the patient knows that he will be a candidate for supplement for all life, and he chooses the bypass procedure because he thinks that, uh, or because the, the data show that they are better, I think this is their, this is their choice. In fact, the, just the presentation before this, they showed fantastic results with just a sleeve. Oh, well, Almost those, the, those, if you, depend on the point where you are talking. If you are talking about sleeve only and you, you ignore the, the bypass procedures, of course you will tell me that the bypass is superior. Uh, the, the sleeve is superior. But again, you, I think we need to compare all procedures together. You cannot just take, um, you know, you cannot compare, I mean, apple to orange. You have to have a basic, uh, basic characteristics and RTC to, to compare both. Uh, but to say that Rowan Y or bypass procedures uh, is not a good option for our patients because they don't follow supplement, I don't think this is... Uh, no, because uh, in India, at least I can tell you that we are seeing huge number of people coming up with massive deficiencies. 
and that's why now they are thinking in terms of dropping it from 200 to 150. Absolutely. So that's right. I think it's a concern. What you're saying that's is right. quite clear. If a patient is not ready to take, you have to that's be right. careful. You're right. Advocating. You're right, Prof. Thank you're right. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you.